Okay. Odysseus sailed on until he came to the Isle of Aeola. It was there that the king of the wind lived with his six stormy sons and his six blustery daughters. And every night they would dance round his throne, paying him homage by singing, Blow, you winds, blow, blow, you winds, blow, through the rain and through the pain, blow, you winds, blow. Odysseus asked the king of the wind to help him, to help him sail westwards towards his home. Shh, yes, the king answered in his blustery manner, and he took the wind of the north, the wind of the south, and the wind of the east, and he stuffed them into a tiny leather bag and tied it tightly shut with a piece of string and gave the bag to Odysseus. And he ordered the western wind to blow Odysseus safely home. And Odysseus waved goodbye, and the western wind carried him to within one mile of his island home. And he fell asleep on the deck of his ship that night, safe in the knowledge that he would soon see his wife and his son once more. But while he was asleep, his men began to whisper, I wonder what's in that bag. I wonder what's in that bag. I wonder what, I wonder what, I wonder what, I wonder what, I wonder what's in that bag. Maybe it's gold, said one. Maybe it's uh, silver, said two. Maybe it's food, said three. So they carefully tiptoed towards that bag. Tip, tap, tip, tap. But when they opened the bag, an evil voice whispered, Blow, you winds, blow. And in a mighty whoosh, all the winds of the world came surging and storming and rollicking and rolling at top speed out of that bag. And the hellish song began again. Blow, you winds, blow, blow, you winds, blow. Through the rain and through the pain, blow, you winds, blow. And an almighty tempest, larger than any mountain that has ever stood upon this planet, raged over that sea. And Odysseus's ship was tossed like a tiny feather upon the bellowing waves. And when the storm finally stopped, he was further from his home than he had ever been before. The end. <laughs>